Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to install Android Pi, that is Android 9 on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So let's do it. First of all, let's just go ahead and open the website through which we will download the image that we need to install into our SD card. So the website is constakang.com. You can see it right here on the top, constakang.com. Then you need to navigate to devices from here. And then you need to click on Raspberry Pi 3. And this image is right here, 16.0. So you just need to click on that and download the OS from here from this link and the file will be downloaded onto your computer that is lineage 16.0 so what we need to do we need to put a 16 gigs of SD card and I recommend you to use a class 10 SD card so let's just go ahead and close it and use the tool that is SD card formatter to format the card let's just now open the SD card formatter label it as Android 9 once it's done then we need to open the tool that is Atcher let's just click on OK and then close it now let's just go ahead and open the Atcher and to write the image to our SD card and close this window just minimize this window it will take a moment it's done let's just select the image that is in C downloads right here open then the target image the target location as you can see the card is 16 gigs of card let's just click on continue flash yes and it will flash the image in like next five minutes so i'll be back now the flashing is complete what we need to do is take out the sd card and insert it into the raspberry pi to boot up the android pi image so let me take you to the raspberry pi screen now i have connected my sd card to my raspberry pi and you can see the boot screen of android in a moment and you can see that it start loading up on your screen yep you can see that it's loading on the screen now let's go ahead and configure our Android it might take a moment I have connected a wireless keyboard and mouse with my Raspberry Pi it will take a moment to initialize the Android on Raspberry Pi once it's done then we will go ahead and configure it So as you can see the initialization is complete and as you can see now that we are on the installation page uh, on the configuration page. So let's go ahead and configure our lineage OS that is Android 9.0. Next let's select the language and you can select the date and time now or you can select it later on no problem in that. Let's just go ahead and select it now. So I am in India. I need to select Kolkata time zoom. It's right here. Let's just select it. And next, next, next. If you want to set up a device pin, you can do it right now. Let's go and skip it and start the lineage OS. And we are on the welcome screen of Lineage OS 9.0 that is Android Pi. So right now you are here on this screen. Uh, we have the browser here that we can use to download thing. You can just type anything here. Let's just try to open google.com that it's working or not. The internet is connected as you can see it's working. Let's just try to open pcmac.biz so it's working absolutely fine 
now I'll show you the shortcut keys what you can use on this device and the shortcut keys that you can use is first is the F1 to go to home when you press F1 it will take you directly to the home screen now the next key is F2 that you can use to go back and then the F3 key is the multitasking key that you can use to multitask and the F4 key is for the menu when you press F4 it will take you directly to menu let's use the F2 to go back and then F4 for the menu as you can see menu is right here and F5 is for the power this one is faster than the previous versions so you can try to install this on your Raspberry Pi in the next video I'll show you how you can install G apps on your Raspberry Pi Android 9.0 So it's done as you can see tablet is starting and you can see the normal screen you can use F11 to increase and decrease the volume F12 to increase the volume and F11 to decrease the volume. To take your Raspberry Pi into sleep mode what you need to do is press the F5 key only one time. It will sleep the Raspberry Pi like this. You just need to move the mouse. And it will come back and if you want to shut down or restart your Raspberry Pi what you have to do is you have to press and hold the F5 key and then you will see these options like power off restart or if you want to capture a screenshot the option is available right here on the right side of the screen so you can use these option to shut down restart and take a screenshot let's just go ahead and turn off the Pi and it will shut down in a moment and as you can see it shut down so guys that's it from my end if you have any questions any doubts you can write them down in the comment section I'll try to answer your questions and if you like my work please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day